As the number of new content creators continues to increase, so does the demand for budget-friendly technology that will assist you in your content creation journey. Today we're going to look at the Full Aim X3 Lav Microphone. I hope that by the time you finish watching this video, you have a better understanding of whether or not this is the right microphone for you. I'm LL Mel, and you are watching Creators Tech, technology for creators. And today, we are going to be checking out the Full Aim X3 Lav Microphone System. This is the USB-C edition, which will be compatible with iPhone models such as the iPhone 15, which has a USB-C port, or Android devices as well as PC. You are currently listening to the audio via USB-C from this microphone. I want to give a special thank you to Full Aim for sending out this review unit. This microphone comes in different kit types, but for the sake of keeping this at the smallest budget possible, I got the lowest, most entry level as far as price goes, most entry-level kit that's available right now. When you get this microphone, you will get two magnetic clips, one packing box, one USB Type-C receiver, one transmitter charging cable, one 3.5 millimeter audio adapter, two magnets, two transmitters, and two magnetic necklace cords. You also get two windscreens. Here are some notable specs for these microphones. Each microphone can last for up to six hours of battery life with a one and a half hours of charging time. They operate on a 2.4 gigahertz transmission they have an advertised transmission rate of up to 65 feet. They come in at 48 kilohertz, 24 bits. Each microphone is omnidirectional. So after a lengthy review process, I think I'm ready to give you my honest assessment of what I think of these microphones and who I think they might be for. Now, as I had mentioned previously, these are entry-level microphones. They retail at a price of about $40 US, but they can easily be found on sale for 10 or more dollars off. So a lot of you can go ahead and if you wait long enough, find these on a really good special deal or special price. Now, when you consider all that, you have to go ahead and set what your expectations will be for this price point. Up front, you already know that the battery life is not going to be as long as one of those microphones that costs 200 plus dollars. And you also know that as far as the bit rate goes this is going to stay at 24 bits when it comes to the rate that is not a deal breaker because for spoken voice which is what these microphones are intended for they should be more than good enough where you get plenty of clarity and if you fiddle with the equalizer settings in post-production you should be getting Eno just enough of an oomph nothing that I would consider at a top tier professional quality but definitely a much much better quality that you would get from the stock microphone built in to most people's phones or cameras so when it comes to that this microphone performs very well there's also a test I ran when it comes to the transmission range. Let's go ahead and have a look at that. 
I am currently roughly at about the 650 foot mark of distance between the transmitter on the microphone and the receiver on the camera. In my experience, these newer microphones, since I've been doing these reviews, don't have very many problems when there's a straight line of sight and no interference from be it other electronic devices or other people surrounding the line of sight between the transmitting microphone and the receiving receiver on the camera. So I'm expecting the audio to be coming through with no problems. And as long as these criteria are met with these more entry level friendly prices on these mics, there's typically no problem and it will probably satisfy uh, the great majority of the people using these. So this has been the transmission test of the Full Aim X3 microphone. Now that you've seen the transmission range on this, I think it probably surprised you as well as it surprised me. This is advertised at a transmission rate of about 65 feet. However, I was able to get multiple, multiple times of what is advertised. As long as I got that straight line of sight with no interference from other electronics or other objects or people between the transmitter and the receiver for these microphones. So it surpassed my expectations. It surpassed what was advertised, at least in my testing, when it comes to the range. Now, when I tried to rig this up with my Sony camera, I ran into some challenges. First was the power challenge. What's going to give the receiver enough power for it to function together with my camera? You can't just plug it in to uh, my Sony's USB-C port. It's not meant for that. So what I had to do is I had to have a power bank on the side and plug into that so it can provide power to the receiver. And then I had to use USB-C adapter, USB-C to 3.5 millimeter adapter and run a mic cable on the output of that to the input mic input of my Sony camera. And only in this way was I able to go ahead and have audio come from the lav mic and transmit it all the way to my camera. However, some challenges are to be expected with that setup because there's a few steps where things could go wrong. For example, my power bank does have a tendency to go to sleep if not enough power is being drawn from it. And because the receiver of this mic kit doesn't draw that much power, it just goes to sleep or turns off. And when that happens, the transmission is cut off because it has no more power at that point. So if you're gonna be recording like the scenario that I used it for, it's only gonna stay on for a few minutes until my power bank decides to turn off. Now, if you happen to have a type of power bank or power source that is powering your full aim X3 receiver that will not turn off, then you probably can make that work out for you. However, in my specific case, it just didn't work out the way I wanted it to. But then again, I cannot knock it for that because this is meant for cell phones. And when it comes to that, it's just plug and play. It's so simple. You can see on the receiver the appropriate lights that come on and they indicate which microphone's working, which one is turned off, and whether or not you have a stable connection. As far as on the mics go, um, they don't have very many uh, 
uh, indicators. However, what you do have is more than enough for you to get some good quality audio from them. You have one light that comes on to indicate that it's on and transmitting so that you can start recording on whatever device it is that you're using. And then if you push the button on the side, the yellow button, then it also brings on a secondary light that indicates that the noise suppressor is enabled or noise reduction is enabled. Now we're going to test the noise canceling technology in this microphone. Now with the background noise cancellation turned on, the audio should be coming through a little bit more clearly when it comes to listening to my voice and not so much on the background noise instead. Is this sounding good to you? I'm gonna go ahead and find out in the post-production. And in this field, I feel like it does a fine job However, you can tell that there is a lot of correction happening on the microphone itself. If you're going to be using uh, editing suite that has a background noise rejection built into it that you can take care of in post-production, I would recommend you use that instead of this because it does synthesize your voice a little bit more than what I personally like. It sounds a little bit more artificial, a little bit more processed. It also comes with two furry windscreens. However, in my case, I didn't find them to be that much of a help. Uh, they are helpful when they stay on, but they're very easily uh, knocked off. So they're, they don't click on and stay clicked on. They're not very strong uh, once they're on there. It's very easy for it to fall off. So uh, if that's something that it's key for you, you might want to keep that in mind. Now, the audio quality, I think, is fine um, when you don't have the noise suppression turned on. I'm not expecting top tier levels of quality out of this price point. Um, it does sound a little bit more canny in the sound, there's not too much fullness from it. However, if you do use the post-production equipment at your disposal to go ahead and equalize the sound, I'm pretty sure you can get some very decent sound. Currently, I am in a location in my studio where I'm not going to have too much background noise. I'm not going to have too much echo in this particular scenario so this is about as ideal as a sound gets and i think this is going to be just fine for most people out there that are doing productions on the outdoor sense you will be getting a lot of noise from your ambiance from the background and that's fine because you come across a little bit more natural to your viewer. When I first received this microphone, one of the most intriguing aspects of it that I was looking at was the size of it. At this size, I wasn't expecting very much. My expectations were almost non-existent. However, once I started working with it and testing it and using it for various things, I started to realize how much better the sound is using one of these as opposed to not using any microphone at all except for the built-in microphones in my cameras. So for somewhere around the range of 30 to $40 US, I think you get more than enough when it comes to starting off your lav mics in your productions. If you don't have very much of a budget, this is an excellent thing that I would recommend to you. I think this will be for you if you're someone who doesn't have the extra money to spend for the other types of microphones that are out there. In my opinion, if you have the money to go ahead and spend on 
top tier microphones, then that's where you want to put your investments. However, if you're just starting out and you want to start learning something, something new and how to make these microphones work for you, then this is an excellent starting point and I strongly recommend getting one of these because they're worthwhile for the price. I hope that I have provided enough information to you today so that you can make an informed decision as to whether or not these Full Aim X3 lav mics are the right ones for you. If you are planning to purchase these microphones or anything else that I used in the production of this video, please feel free to check out the link that I have provided in the description below. Any purchase you make through those links will help our channel receive a small commission so that we can continue going and growing. I'm LL Mel and you are watching Creators Tech, technology for creators.